Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back to our conversation. You are with myself, Nizam Abdul, and we are speaking about the Daru Arkham Islamic High School, a dynamic organization based in the beautiful mother city, doing amazing work. Before the break, we spoke to the principal, Sheikh Ibrahim Daud, as well as the director of the institution, Sheikh Ibrahim Gabriel, about some background of what Daru Arkham Islamic High School is about. Uh, now, the, the school is doing phenomenal work, as we heard earlier, they are really developing holistic young men and ladies to be productive citizens of Cape Town, South Africa and the world at large. Uh, and the, the need for Islamic high schools is really great and this is an opportunity for you to gain closeness to Allah through your contribution to this dynamic institution. Uh, I want to uh, get Sheikh Ibrahim involved here. And Sheikh, why is it important for our community to invest in an Islamic high school like uh, the Daru Arkham Islamic High School? Yeah, Nizam, what, a, what a, a perfect question, uh, the ideal question. But just before I'm going to answer you, uh, one of my most enjoyable moments when I am in Makkah and Medina is to look at my brothers and sisters of the world. It brings so much joy to my heart. And it brings so much joy for me now to, 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 to tell you that I'm speaking to my own brothers and sisters. And coming to your question, Islam is all about education. The first, not the first verse, the first word that was revealed from Allah through Jibreel to our Nabi Muhammad to all of us is a motivation to educate yourself. So Iqra means read. And Iqra also means empower yourself with education. So we are saying to our brothers and sisters, empower the Muslim community, empower the world with education. And we know that even Allah mentions that part of being of the pious people is to spend your money. And then Allah also says, وَأَنفِكُوا مِمَّا رَزَقَنَاكُمْ And spend what we have given to you before death appears. And then you're going to say, oh Allah, give me more time and the first thing that a person is going to say, فَأَصَدَّقَ so that I can spend my money. So, so, so let us spend our money now. It's, it's Ramadan. And, and the best way that you can spend your money is in education, to uplift the world. To uplift, like I've said, your brothers and sisters, our children at our school, they are your children. They are the children of the world. They are the future leaders. And before I'm going to give over to Sheikh Ibrahim Dawood, I just want to say that this Ummah is a great Ummah. But you must also allow me to say that, uh, you know, I think we, we, we have taken the back seat when it comes to education and we must move forward. You know, I also learned from non-Muslims. And I'm a fond reader of John C. Maxwell. And he says in his book, the worst thing in life for him is to stay stagnant and devoid of improvement. So we can't as a community stay where we are and stay there for 25 or 30 years, we're still the same. We as a school, we need to move forward. And inshallah, we will be able to move forward if our brothers and sisters are going to spend their money for Dar Arkham Islamic High School. Absolutely, absolutely. So this is a perfect opportunity for you, your family, on behalf of yourself, your children, uh, your deceased parents and your deceased loved ones to, to really give them the gift that keeps on giving. A sadaqat al jariya for an institution like this, the, the reward for it manifests itself over and over and even beyond the time that we leave this world. And it is definitely an opportunity for you and I to gain an opportunity to the Jannah al Firdaus and be a, 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 a neighbor of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is the time of Ramadan, it is the time of giving, it's the time where our hearts are most open. So let's open our pockets, join the pledge line and make sure that we contribute as best as possible inshallah. So what are we pledging for? What is the projects that uh, is up and coming for the Daru Arkham Islamic High School? Sheikh Daud, enlighten us about some exciting developments that is about to happen inshallah. Um, uh, brother um, Nizam Abdul, I just want to mention one thing. I just want to latch on what you said so beautifully. And that is Alexander the Great, just before he died, he ordered that when his coffin is laid open for people to view, he wanted his hands to be outside of the coffin, it must be open. And so when the people came for the viewing, so they say, this is Alexander the Great, he conquered so many places and lands. They say, but he took nothing with him. 
There's absolutely nothing that he's taking with him in his hands. So we want to remind ourselves firstly that the hadith of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, إِذَا مَاتُ مِنِ آدَمْ إِنْ قَتَلْ عَمَلُهُ إِلَّا مِنْ ثَلَاثِ When a person dies, all his good deeds cease to exist. It comes to an end. He can't do more except three categories. صَدَقَةٌ جَارِيَةٌ Money that you give to an institute, to a mosque or a school, that will con as long as that institution is, 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 is in existence, the benefit thereof, you'll still get in your grave. Allahu Akbar. Sadaqatun jariya. Ilmu yuntafa'a bihi. Knowledge that people benefit by. If you assist a child, that child uh, memorizes the Holy Quran, or that child completes his matric and he takes care of his parents, just to give an example. We had a very, very weak learner at our school. And they asked me, Sheikh Daud, must we keep this learner? I say, yes. He say, but he can't afford to be here. Also, I say, but we're still going to keep him. He's the only hope for this family. His mother and his father is getting old. He's the only child. He struggled. He slept over at teachers' homes because the amount of hours that he was getting and receiving at school was not enough. And he stayed, alhamdulillah, he completed matric, he passed. Alhamdulillah, he got a managerial job. He's taking care of his parents. He came to visit me and he said, Sheikh Daud, shukran to all the teachers for what they have done. He can take now care of his parents as his parents struggle to take care of him. Has taken the household over. And this is what we're looking at, a child that is groomed in a way that will take care not only of himself or herself, but will look at his parents and look at the greater community and what he can furnish and do. So that is knowledge that people benefit by. And Waladun Salih, the children here at the school, we always make dua for the deceased and for all those people that assist the school. And that is, that is your spiritual children that you have here at our school. So our investments that we have at our school. The first one is a recurring investment. And that is we would love to establish an astroturf at our school. In this community, it will be the very first it will be an enjoyment for the learners at our school to develop them holistically. After school, it will keep the learners and children off the, off the, the streets in this very dangerous area. And thirdly, it has the potential of generating sufficient amount of money to take care of half of our destitute learners as well as the orphans at our school. So that investment, inshallah, is going to be up for grabs, inshallah. The second one is we have destitute learners at our school we have 70 of them. Our school has grown to 500 learners. At the present moment, there's no space for learners for next year. If there's any application, it needs to be for 2021. So there is the need for the expansion of the school. And the result of that, we have already approached a city planner to look at three possible grounds uh, suitable for the expansion of the school, inshallah. MashaAllah. Uh, the, the future looks bright for the Daru Arkham Islamic High School, but obviously they need your assistance. So let us look at this as an opportunity to make a meaningful impact in the life of a learner. You can sponsor a Hafiz learner or a learner in the academic school at the Daru Arkham for only 750 Rand a month or 9,000 Rand for the year. This is all it takes for you to buy a place in Jannah for those insha'Allah. When you invest in education, you will never see the end of it, insha'Allah. And then there is a project where the Daru Arkham would like to put together a multi-purpose sports complex with the AstroTurf. And this is not only to occupy these uh, learners during the, the course of the day, but also the, the management of the school has realized that they need to look at ways how to become self-sustainable and self-sufficient. So this will generate funds for the institution, inshallah. Once again, your contribution will be manifested over and over and over, inshallah. And then the school is also looking at expansion because of the great demand for this type of organization, this type of school and institution in this particular community. Make sure that we get involved in the pledge and we get our families, friends, and everybody to support the Daru Arkham Islamic High School Pledge, inshallah. Before we uh, conclude this segment, inshallah, we're going to ask Sheikh Ibrahim for a few words, and then thereafter, Sheikh Ibrahim yeah. Daud, the principal. Yeah, uh, in conclusion, uh, on behalf of Daru Arkham Islamic High School and of all our learners, and our honorable principal and the staff, 
we just want to thank the people of South Africa and even beyond South Africa for the contributions that they've done in the past. Alhamdulillah, they will see the pictures of how we've completed, we've used all that money and we've built a beautiful building, a beautiful wall, beautiful new classes. In fact, one of the uh, uh, non-Muslim inspectors that came to the school, he can't believe that there's such a beautiful building in Mitzel's Plain. But Alhamdulillah, we've done it. So from our hearts, we just want to thank each and everyone that has contributed to the success of the school, inshallah. And I'm sure that this year again, our community will come out and support us, inshallah. Inshallah. In closing, Sheikh Dawood. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Jazakumullah khair al-jazah wa ja'al manzilatak al-jannatu firdaus. Firstly, we'd like to say, Jazakumullah, may Allah reward you grandly for all your your contributions that you have made to the school, as well as your du'as and, and support, support of words. Um, we're very grateful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you the highest place in Jannah uh, for that support. And then the school. Each school uh, should be the seed as well as the seed of hope for every learner. So when they're walking here, they might not be the best. But inshallah, through the process that they go through, they become one of the best, inshallah ta'ala. Walhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Yes, that is the, the profound words from our uh, principal of the Daru Arkham Islamic High School, Sheikh Ibrahim Daud, as well as the director, Sheikh Ibrahim Gabriel. That is obviously no stranger to the viewers of ITV. On behalf of myself, Nizam Abdul, and everybody affiliated to Daru Arkham Islamic High School, we wish you a splendid Ramadan, and may this Ramadan be the Ramadan that gives us absolute closeness and through the mercy of Allah the entry into Jannah insha'Allah uh, make sure that you are tuned in to the pledge a little bit later on you can see the details on screen and get everyone involved and donate generously once again from all of us we, we greet you wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh